My name is Tim Bennix and this is a Turbo Tutorial. So in this tutorial, we will be looking at server-side components and client-side components in Nuxt 3. And so when you know about Nuxt 3 is that they don't like adding a whole bunch of conf uh, configuration. Things kind of just work out of the box. And this is one of those. And it makes it really easy to deal with, I want only client-side this component or only server-side that one. And so um, let's have a look at how you can actually pull that off. So this is a very clean Nuxt 3 project. There's nothing in the config as you can see. And in my app.view, I have created two components. I have a cast member and a friends image. I like the TV show friends. Hence, that's why they are actually in these tutorials. So I have a cast member like Rachel that says, maybe you should take a break. And then Ross says, well, let's cool off, blah, blah, blah. If you know friends, you know this scene. And then the friends image literally just shows you an image. So let's quickly go into the browser to look at what that looks like. So we have Ross and Rachel and the image. So when you now look at these file names here, so cast member basically is cast member dot view, which means it renders in server side and it renders in client side, like a normal view component that lives in Nuxt. But when you look at the image, you actually see friendsimage.client.view. And so Nuxt automatically resolves your components for you. And because they do that, they, they just look at the file name and say, hey, that one is meant for client. If I put server there, it does something for the server here. And that's really interesting because with this, you can say this component is like a graph or it needs something on the window for a third party or whatever that will not run on SSR. Well, you just add client there and it renders it only on the client. So let's have a look at what this looks like in the browser, because if I turn off my JavaScript, there is no client. So it should show you what the server renders. So I have a little um, extension here. So when I turn JavaScript off, so this turns it off and refreshes your page and you see there is no image. When I turn the JavaScript back on, the server re-renders, but then with, with JavaScript itself, it turns the image here, it puts it in. And so um, this is a nice way to kind of separate your client from your server components or from, from your hybrid components. Um, sometimes you might not be able to do that. So what you can also do is this. You can actually use client only, um, which is a lovely convenience method by um, the next team. Because sometimes you can just not change these components or you don't use the auto um, you know, auto loading of them. And so if you do client only, what will happen now when I turn off the JavaScript, ROS should also disappear, right? Because it's rendered only in JavaScript. There you go. That works in a really nifty way. So let's remove this again, because there is one more thing I want to show you that actually makes this thing really interesting. If you have the same component, but dot server dot view, the server dot view is rendered as a fallback to the client one. So first server, then client. And so if something goes wrong in the client, you still see the server one. So which means if you wanted to do something that's completely like lazy loaded or something that depends on whatever the browser gives it to make its size work, you can actually have a server version below it that actually says, this is the size of the thing, let the client render it in. And so there's no jankiness in loading the page. So let's do that quickly. So let's do friends image dot server dot view and let's paste in some stuff so i had this on my clipboard already so the only difference is there's a different image rendered on the server than on the client and so let's quickly reset my um, local host just to be safe that it all works go back to the browser and so when i just refresh it you saw a little flicker right so when I turn off the JavaScript now, it actually shows me my other image because that's the server one. Then I turn on the JavaScript, it's the server one first and the client overrules it. And that's a super handy way to go about this because you can do a lot of things with this flexibility. So I hope you like it. That's what I wanted to show you in the tutorial. Feel free to leave a comment or whatever, any questions, and I'll see you in the next one.